There are many different types of CDs. The first and most common one is a traditional CD. This is the most common type, and its characteristics are fixed term, like three months, six months, a year, etc. A fixed interest rate, for example, 1.5%. If you withdraw before the maturity ends, you have to pay a penalty and protection by the FDIC if the deposit does not exceed $250,000. Stockbrokers and financial institutions may also offer deposits, and they are called brokered. Actually, they represent a bank's offers, including those of online banking institutions. As a rule, brokered CDs are high return, riskier, and with a longer term. In addition, not all of them are FDIC insured and might require a fee when purchasing the account. Moreover, there is sometimes a minimum limit of, for example, $10,000 to open one of these CDs. CDs which do not offer a fixed interest rate are called variable or flexible rate CDs. These usually carry a higher risk and potential for good returns. Normally, a person would buy a variable rate CD with a longer term. There is an option of bumping up, which allows the account holder to adjust the interest rate according to market conditions. It's important to know how many times you can bump up and when. Be sure to know all the details, including when the interest is distributed. I would recommend this time to people who know the market very well. This is important because a person should know when exactly to adjust the interest rate and benefit the most. Liquid CDs are deposits which allow the account holder to pull out some of the money without paying a penalty. In order to take out money without an early distribution penalty, however, you have to follow some withdrawal limits. For this reason, these CDs offer lower interest rates. Zero Coupon CD is another type of CD. The typical thing about this kind is that it does not pay interest annually, but it rather distributes the amount after the end of the term. Bank offers zero coupon CDs at great discounts, but you will have to pay taxes on the income. These CDs tend to offer higher rates. The last type I would like to discuss is the callable CD. Usually brokers offer these types of CDs. The specific thing is that they contain a call feature. Now, what is a call feature? If the deposit has a term of three years, then the bank might decide to end the contract prior to expiration. Of course, there is a protection period, for example, six months. If the bank does that, they have to pay the owner his money as well as the interest earned during that period. That's it for now. On our website, you can find more posts and podcasts, as well as calculators and other online financial tools. Do you believe in the certificates of deposit as an investment? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.